wants so wants a person of faith, a person that believes in God, that we're still one nation uh, un, under God, but at the same time have respect for every everybody, civil civil liberties as well. I think that's a piece of the puzzle. What we need though is a president that that can deliver the message, that can use that bully pulpit to get people around him to get those policies finished, uh, as well as just talking about it. We need someone that can finish the job, win a general election. Mm. Again, we've seen some endorsements come out. He's set to be joined uh, by Senator Thune also today, John Thune uh, of South Dakota here. Uh, any word on who you're watching again as the race begins to heat up? You know, I'm watching all of them. I think that this is why we play the game, is to see who's going to win. I think it's iron sharpening iron. Uh, Tim Scott brings a breath of fresh air to the field as well. Can't wait till we get to that Iowa primary, which I guess is still months away. Now, he said that uh, he, he failed civics. Senator Scott did. He said, but he wasn't the only one in uh, Congress that failed. I mean, wasn't you, was it, Senator? Well, I, I don't think so. I, my last B was to be honest sometime in fifth grade. Uh, oh. But uh, I, I get it. Uh, t Tim Scott, what a what a breath yeah. of fresh air! Yeah, very, very personable moment too. It really uh, it ha had the, the entire crowd engaged too. I don't believe I've seen a candidate bring a, a mother on stage and share that uh, with the crowd. Um, definitely a different way to, to go about it. So again, we'll continue to watch Senator Tim Scott there. I know that we have you here too. While we have the time, obviously the the debt limit is is a, a major issue. Something that the the I know that you're watching. Others are watching too. As Senator Tim Scott's greeting others there. Um, there is a meeting happening with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy today and President Biden in the Oval Office. That's around 530 Eastern time said to found common ground. Are, do you have any optimism for bipartisan politics, for the two sides coming together in a, in, a, in a moment like this for the country? Look, I don't think negotiations have even formally started for all practical purposes. Mm -hmm. What Joe Biden needs to realize, we're not going to give him another credit card unless he balances the budget, has some responsible spending. Like Tim Scott said today, we think that if people are able to work, that they should work. If they took on a school loan, they should pay back that school loan. We have some very reasonable requests that this president says are non-starters, but we're not going to blink. The Republicans are sticking together on this. We're not blinking. Joe Biden's not, not negotiating in good faith. And this is, ball is in his court. It's up to him. Again, that common sense sort of approach is what we heard from Senator Tim Scott during his announcement here. We're going to wait and see what happens with the debt ceiling negotiations. Those will likely continue. Senator Marshall, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you spending the time. Hey, Sean, Great you. to see you. We appreciate Great to see that. You here. All right, we are past noon Eastern.